So we'd just like to see Act One on the top of YouTube. I'm so, really excited. Jill, I can't hear you. I'm really excited. Are you seeing people? I'm so excited. I haven't seen it since the, uh, since the original production in the many A. Film was so the Arriba was the one we saw it, but we are very excited and we are about to take a seat. The lovely glass of sparkling wine. And we'll see you in the interval. Say bye, Jill. Hey, girls. So we've just come out of Act One and what do you think, Jill? Hi. I mean, so many different kinds of music. You've got obviously gospel, you've got pop, I'd say. I could Follow musical theatre, it's fantastic. The cast are insane. The script is hilarious but so poignant. The energy. The energy. I love the Greek chorus, the church ladies. Oh, it's just fantastic. And the girl playing Sophia. Obviously, I'll name check these later, but it's just fantastic and. I feel like I'm just gushing into the set, the beautiful set, the costumes, the costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props. It's wonderful that's Yeah. Wonderful And it's groundbreaking that like, the Hippodrome have picked such a fantastic and different musical that focuses on uh, a, a woman's relationship with a woman, uh, a woman's relationship with God, the way women were treated. It's, and this, it touches on so many things such as drug use and. Uh, abuse, but it's just full of spirit. Everything makes for so much. Well, if you could pick, what's your favourite bit so far? I love the last, last song. Uh, which is, yeah. I love uh, Hell No. And the audience is not lovely. They all, as soon as you went, Hell No, everyone lost their mind. So it's just doing a fantastic job. Uh, so we'll see you at the end. Oh, perfect. Bye. <laughs>
had a love story. I mean, she, uh, Karen Maeve, who played Sophia, was was one of the highlights of the night. Karen Maeve had strength and sass and perfect comic timing. She had the money notes on leash, but what I really adore more than anything was her Sophia strut. Which, if anyone's seen the movie or read the book, it's commented on that she has a proper Sophia strut, which is really strengthy and really. <laughs> and yeah, Karen did it perfectly. Karen's portrayal of Sophia brought much needed um, light heartedness and comedy and just something to take the tension out of the air sometimes. And her rendition of Hell No really was something i mean people where i was sat like i said before people were shouting and agreeing and clapping as soon as she said the first hell no so it was lovely to be a part of it and it was lovely to see i saw her play effie and it was lovely to see her again play such a strong character she's brilliant she really is brilliant akko mitchell played a brilliant buddy but i really loved his arc with his character the fact he does a full turn he goes from being bad to righting his wrongs because of obviously miss celia's curse but you really could tell in his stature and the way he spoke it was really something it was a really enjoyable character story to watch tishan williams took on the role as celia and she did it effortlessly she had such subtlety and soulfulness. At the start of the show you can see that she's so weak and like they keep referring to her like a, a like a baby bird. But then through her uh, but through her seeing Sophia and Neddy and Shug and the strength that these women have, they give her strength. So the of the very famous table scene where she kind of takes back her soul from this man the audience are completely on the side. I really feel like I'm gushing about this audience. I don't know if it was where I sat, I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was, but the audience last night were completely engrossed. Every step, every breath, every song, every line, they were completely in it and it felt like church. It was wonderful. But Deshaun Williams played this role with such grace and ease and her final song, I'm Still Here, rang it just rang it lifted it lifted everyone's soul in the audience it gave everybody strength the walls of the hippodrome were ricocheting this beautiful anthem that is i'm still here it, through all this heartache and all this awfulness i've been through i am still here i think this is a fantastic anthem for Seely. the show is deep deep joy it, it fills you with joy and it's cathartic and again it's not for the faint hearted it's quite a strong storyline but at the end you get to see somebody become who they want to be from the start she wanted to be she wanted to have her own house she wanted to look after her sisters and that's what she does and it's Celie is such a fantastic character I mean I can relate to I, not all the parts but I can relate to some of the parts of Seely and her struggles and it just goes to show that if you just keep going and you believe you can achieve what you need to achieve in life and again that's a very broad sentence but that's how I felt because that's how I, what's all I took from it but it was wonderful to watch such a fantastic production in a fantastic venue thank you to the Kerr, thank you to the Hippodrome for, for bringing the colour purple to the people because the people need to see at the, the current climate that we have, people need to see this musical. It was amazing to walk into the Hippodrome Auditorium and see such a diverse audience. This is what theatre is all about. Everybody deserves to see theatre because theatre is for everybody. So a little shout out. The three wonderful women who portrayed the church ladies slash the Greek choir were incredible. Like the little Greek chorus that came on. And they got a round of applause after everything they did. It was just, a, a, what a fantastic way to move the scenes along. And to then also inform the audience what's going on and what's happened. and what's. It was just, I just thought it was great. I just love that. I just love the church ladies. The opening is brilliant. I loved Hell No. I love I'm Still Here. I love Push the Button. I really, really, really enjoyed um, 
Too Beautiful For Words. But I have to say, out of all those songs, my favourite song, and my favourite song in this production, especially with the way it's done, is Miss Seely's Pants. Miss Seely's Pants is a cracking number, and this production does not lay it down. So you've heard me make a joyful noise about the colour purple. Now you need to go and see it for yourself. It's on till Saturday at the Hippodrome in Birmingham. Hopefully it goes on tour or has a residency in London. It needs to be seen. Um, thanks for watching. Follow me on all my sosh, sosh men. Uh, and thanks for watching. And this is my purple kimono that I wore and made especially for the colour purple.